Hey guys, so we had a request for Aussie Cat, right? I'm just gonna look at Aussie Cat over here. All right, so what can we expect on Aussie Cat, right? So uh, I believe it was a Nadia. Nadia was requesting for Aussie Cat previously, right? So let's take a look. Now, um, for Aussie Cat, what I can see, what I like rather, is that there's this, you know, price tends to obey the Ichimoku cloud pretty nicely. You know, when there's support, when there's resistance, it tends to obey it pretty nicely. Right, so it is definitely below um, resistance over here. It's below the Ichimoku cloud. So I do have a slight bearish um, bias on it. However, right, what I'm going to look at next is I'm going to look at a little bit of, um, let's see if there's a trend line, uh, if there's a channel that I can look at, right? Um, we can see that price is more or less kind of testing this channel, right? Uh, and it doesn't look like it's breaking out of it that nicely. Right, that combined with a little bit of the resistance area that we're seeing over here, right, that actually gives us a pretty bearish kind of area, right, and we can actually look to sell from here, right? You can look to sell from here with our entries over here, right? You can try to play the move down, right? Um, with the amount of bearishness that we're seeing, you know, we could play a move down, but not too far down. I would just play it down to this level over here. Why this level here is because price has bounced up once, you know, bounced up a second time, bounced up a third time. Right, so it'll be pretty risky for us to play the move beyond here. So I'm gonna have this as my take profit and my playing the drop down to there. My stop loss, you know, I'm gonna put it just slightly above here, you know, because I hopefully it doesn't break out. It shouldn't ideally not break out of this um bearish Chichimoku cloud. But if it does, then uh you know we want to be stopped out fast, right? If we're wrong, we're wrong. You know, we realize we're wrong fast and we move on. But if we can tight uh in this case keep a tighter stop loss, it would lead to a better risk to reward trade for us. And that is what we are also looking out for. So Nadia, I hope this answers your question for all you can. It's a very nice setup. And yeah, we'll look to play the reversal back to um, 89.85 level again. So any of you guys have questions for me, requests for me, send them in the comment section. I'll do my best to get to them. And I'll see you guys again tomorrow for another session of looking at using technical analysis to get good setups, guys. Cheers and peace out.